So let's now go on our second part to adding in our information here for our back of our card. Okay, so we're going to bring in the back of the card. Now, once again, I'm going to just go to my research. Here we are having, we have kind of the thing that influenced the front, which was this kind of hacked part here. And then for the back, I like that a lot of these cards have this kind of cheap kind of um, printing on the card itself. Whereas the front of the card, it looks like it was a little bit coated. The back wasn't, so the ink went directly into the piece. And you can see how it's faded and you can kind of see the items in there. So we'll play with that idea as well. A couple other things that I like is kind of the name up here, the number, so we know what number it is, and then also these little um, copyright symbols down here. So let's bring all that into this piece here. All right, so the first thing is um, I've gone in and I've actually found a texture for a background. So we're going to place that in there, File, Place, and we've got this item here, which is basically just a cardboard, um, soft kind of cardboard thing that I found. We'll center that. There we go. Command zero to get everything in there. So we've got that. Um, now let's bring in a little bit of a um, margin here for our, um, background. So what I'm going to do is I can basically just, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to copy this, Command C, and then bring it into here, Command V. We can kind of use this as the basis for our piece. Now I think I want a little bit of a stronger, so we've got We've got our borders right there, so I'm just going to bring this into those borders. There we go. There we go. And there we go there. So that gives us a little bit of that. And I think actually, just to make it a little bit more fun, I want to switch these. So instead of having the, um, I want to have the kind of that purple as my interior color. We'll see how that works. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to, to give it that kind of sense that we have here. All right, you can see that things are a little bit less saturated, so we might go and fix that. And because of the way it was done, there is, you can see through there, you can kind of see how the ink is going right into there. And we'll use a transparency for that. So let's go to here. And instead of that, let's give this just kind of a darker kind of background here. So we'll just go to our brightness, bring that down to that. And then for this, we're going to lighten it up a little bit with our saturation. All right, and now let's go over to our object styles and effects. And there we go, object opacity. And if we bring this down, you can see how we can get a little bit of that texture underneath. So we got to 50%. And if we go here, you can kind of see how that's going through. Very similar to what we got here. All right, let's take a look. I'm gonna hit W. Okay, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna just make this uh, stroke a little bit bigger. So I've got that selected. Go over to my strokes here. And yeah, I think that looks really nice. So we'll go with that. If we wanted to, you can see here, it's kind of going across the margins. If you want to keep it within the margins, here under stroke, if you click here, you can kind of bring things up and down. I think three is better. And then you can kind of decide. So if I want to keep it within, this makes sure that it's falling within that. This is going to push it out, and this is going to, which is default, is center it. Let me hit W so you guys can see. So here I want to kind of keep it within. 